Cleveland is experiencing right now a renaissance, so to speak, okay? Whether it be from technology, across the bridge, to literature and cultural art exposure, here is gonna be the hub for that moment. I tell my, my family this all the time. Ugh, if something happens to me, just put me in the box. I've already put on the outfit that I'm ready to go in, okay? So I don't need your black suit. <laughs> you know, what I will say is that accidents do happen, you know, and a chip tooth, well, it used to be a chip tooth. Now it's just a go to. <laughs> The beautiful thing about Lake Mary, you have, a, it's a family oriental place and you have a very strong, uh, young, uh, vibrant uh, people that's actually around here. Fashion wise, still laid back, very casual. You see a lot of people with short, even when it's cold, with their hoodie on. So they're wearing short, but they're wearing hoodie. I think the very important thing is to be very uh, 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 confident. That's my philosophy, I'm always comfortable. I can go to a wedding like this and I'll feel okay. You know, so I'm very confident with my style. Oakland is bound to change because San Francisco is getting too expensive for a lot of people and people are moving out here. I say stand your ground. If you don't want to move out of Oakland, stand your ground, don't move. I'm not moving out of Oakland. I'm here, I've been here for 15 years and I, like I always tell all my friends, 40 years to come, you're gonna see me in Oakland. I'm living in Oakland. I came 1997 from Eritrea. I bright my hair, my culture, my tradition, right? To bright the hair, you put the gold, the tradition gold, they have big earrings, big necklace, you know? My tradition hair style, I wanna mix it with different styles, you know? The general style is like, people are anti-normal. If you want to do whatever you want to do to your, like, clothes, to your body, to your hair, whatever it is, people are really receptive to that. I tend to try to err on the side of masculine. Err. I like to be kind of edgy, feminine, but also masculine, obscuring the gender identity in a way. When I go to work in the morning, I try to tone it down a little bit because I'm going to San Francisco and I work at like a pretty big company. It's a mid-sized so software consultancy. The culture here really lets you be whoever you want to be and I really love that and appreciate that about Oakland. 